you can hear it. So discussions are over, huh? Tensi. Discussions are over. Huh? What was the exam? You had exam on AP, right? Oh, what's happening? Do you have the question paper? Uh, hard copy? Oh, okay. Why well, it's not moving? So first one. A plus n minus 1 into d, right? A plus n minus 1 into d, right? So n is here, uh, n, n, is ten, n is 10 here, a is m here. N is 10. A is M. So T N equal to A plus into M plus nine. D is okay. Uh, okay. So M plus nine N. Okay, next one, the sum of the first two n terms of AP is 5n minus n square. The nth term of AP is. So what is given now? Sum is given. Sum is represented with Sn, huh? Sn, right? So then what's the nth term? What's the sum of the n terms formula? Sn equal to? n by 2 into? A plus uh, A plus Tn, right? Uh, 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 mm. You want to see your uh, 
Uh, that will show that will show to you later. So how to do this one? Bangkok. Now the second one. Kaushik. So n, n by 2 into a plus l, we need to find out l, right? They are asking for l only, na? The sum of the first n terms means that the n the term, n the term will be l, final term only, right? So n by 2 into a plus l, then you need to find out l, right? Sum of the first n terms of a, b is 5 and minus n square, then n the term of a, b is. So, we equate n by 2 into a plus l equal to 5n minus n square. So, take out uh, n by 2 common, then what will happen? 5 minus 10 minus 2n, is it? 10 minus 2n. So what is a here? So equal to n by 2 into a plus l. Then cancel n by 2, n by 2. So a plus l equal to 10 minus 2n. So from that, how to find out l value? But we don't know the a value, right? So what is the other way to do it? So n the term is nothing but uh, s n minus s n minus 1, right? Sum of the n terms minus sum of the n minus 1 terms will give the last term, right? That way also you can find it out, no? Sum of the first two n terms minus sum of the first n minus one terms will give the, the nth term, right? Okay. So here uh, Sn is given as uh, 5n minus n square. So Sn minus 1 will be, you need to replace n with n minus 1, that's it. Okay. So What is Sn equal to? 5n minus n square. Okay. So Tn is nothing but Sn minus Sn minus 1. Did you get this one? Venkat? Sn minus Sn minus 1. Kaushik? Rohit? Viji, tell them. What did you understand? Tell them. 
Eh? SN means what? Some of the first n terms, right? The SN minus 1 will, will be some of the first n minus 1 terms. So if you subtract both of them, what will come? The final, will, the nth term will come. So let's say a, a plus d and so on a plus n minus 1 into d. So if you sum up them, it will be Sn. Sn minus 1 will be a, a plus d and so on a plus n minus 2 into d. a plus n minus 1, 2 into d, a plus n minus 1 into d is next term. So we are only summing up till here. Till a plus n minus 1 into d. If you subtract both of them, what will come? And the term will come, no? That's what. Okay. Now, Sn equal to 5n minus n square. So, Tn equal to Sn. Sn minus Sn minus 1. What is Sn minus 1? You need to replace n with n minus 1. That's it. n minus 1 whole square. In n, you need to replace n with n minus 1. Okay. So, now what is Tn? 5n minus n square minus of 5 into n minus 1 minus n minus 1 whole square. So, 5n minus n square minus 5n minus 5. So, what is a plus b, a minus b whole square formula? n square minus 2n plus 1. Okay. So, 5n minus n square Take out uh, minus inside, yeah. 5n plus 5 plus n square minus 2n plus 1. So, what will cancel out n square? n square cancelled out. Cancelled out. 6 minus 2n. So, what is the option? <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, so some of the end. Okay. Some of the first n odd natural numbers is this is already taught in the class. Yeah. N squared. How to prove this one? <laughs> Rohit? How to prove? <laughs> all things all things got deleted. Eh? After a long time, all things got deleted. Eh? How to prove? Vijay, tell na. So what what is the sequence of the odd numbers? One, three, five, seven. So, what will the nth term? The nth term will be 2n minus 1. Okay. 2n minus 1, right? How will you get? Now, what is the formula for nth term? Tn equal to a plus n minus 1 into d, right? a is here what? 1, n minus 1 into 2. 2n minus 1. Okay, so n equal to 2n minus 1, nth term is 2n minus 1. So, what is the Sn will be? Sn equal to Tn is nth term. Huh? Yeah, yeah, Tn or An. Huh? So, uh, so I, I keep A and uh, uh, So, n equal to n equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So, n by 2 into 
a plus 1 plus l right 2n minus 1 n square venkat clear clear how to prove some of the first uh, even natural numbers n n even uh, 2 4 what and what and minus 1 huh then what the nth term nth term huh? uh. do it no 2n right so 2 4 6 and so on 2n so sn equal to n by 2 into a plus l 2 plus 2n equal to n into n plus 1. Okay. All things got erased. Both are same. Huh? So the fourth one, fourth one is what? The seventh term of AP is four and its common difference is minus four. What is the first term? Huh? How to do it? A plus N minus one into D equal to? A plus 60 equal to? 4, right? 7th term is 4, na? Uh, a is equal to 28. Okay. So, what about the 5th one? The value of x for which 2x, 2x plus 1 and 3x plus 2 are the consecutive terms of a. So, we need to find out what x so that those three terms will be consecutive terms in AP. How to find out Rohit? So, what is the criteria to be that these three terms to be in AP? The, the common difference must be equal, right? So, equate uh, x plus 10 minus 2x equal to 3x plus 2 minus of x plus 10. So, means a2 minus a1 equal to a3 minus a2. Okay, a2 minus a1 equal to a3 minus a2. From that, you will get x y. So means uh, x plus 10 minus of x 2x equal to 3x plus 2 minus of x plus 10. Means minus x plus 10 equal to 2x minus 8. 3x equal to 18, x equal to 6. Six. Okay. Same value you got or something different? Kaushik? Sorry, got. Three is not there, na? Venget, you do it, na? Venget? Hey, Princey, what are you doing? You do it. Something do on the notebook. Huh? Vijay? Okay. 
ए टू माइनस ए वन इक्वल टू ए थ्री माइनस ए टू Got got it. Eighteen. And what else? Six or eighteen. Go ahead. Did you? Maybe see there is some calculation mistake. Then got see. Come here. Got it? Corrected now. What is x value now? So what are the terms? Three terms now. Three terms. Twelve. Ah, uh, sixteen. Twelve, sixteen, twenty. Ah. Uh. So what is the d value now? D value is four. Okay. So what is the what are, what about the sixth one? If they are in AP, then we need to find out x three. How to find out x three? Huh? Oh, oh, like when when I tried, okay. Is it fine now? Better? Ah. Huh. How to do it? Uh? Rohit, is there any idea how to do this one? The value. So the fifth term is fifth term is given as uh, a five is given as twenty eight, right? So a plus four d sorry uh, x three is. I don't know what's happening. Twenty-two, got it. Got it, huh? What's the d value got? Huh? Six, huh? So what are the terms now? Five terms. First term is four, ah, four, ten. Ah, four, ten, sixteen, twenty-two, twenty-eight. So yeah, the 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 seventh one is the the number of terms of A B. So how many terms are there? How to find out? Just we need to find out n, right? Given a plus n minus one into d equal to one ninety five. Good ma.
So a plus n minus 1 into d equal to 185, a equal to 5, d equal to 4, we need to find out n value. That's it. Mm. Forty six, yeah. I got you. You got it. Got it. Show me. Did you got? Did you get the answer? Huh? So what's a what's a you are doing? Confused. Huh? Did you? Did you get it? What's n value? Forty six, sir. Uh -huh. A plus n minus 1 into d equal to 185. A equal to 5. N minus 1 into 4 equal to 185. 4n plus 1 equal to 185. 4n equal to 184. N equal to 46. Okay. So yeah, the eighth one is the, the ninth term of AP. So we need to find out the ninth term. For that, what we need to find out? First, we need to find out. Already A is known, D is known. Uh, 18 plus 8 into 4. No, 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 minus, minus 15 plus 32. D is plus 4, na. Huh? Minus 11 of minus 15, man. A2 minus A1, not A1 minus A2. Minus 11 plus 15. What's the D value? Plus 4 and minus 4. Minus four. <laughs> Thirty two minus fifteen is how much? Seventeen. Go ahead. Got it, Vengat. Yeah. Then no, minus 15 plus 32 will be. Uh -huh. 
So yeah, so the ninth one is A, B, and C are in AP, then the value of is One right. Rohit, one or minus one? Huh? So what about a minus b by a minus c? A minus b by a minus c. Huh? A minus b by a minus c, not b minus c. What is there? Read it. A minus b by a minus c. I asked a minus b by a minus c. Huh? A minus B by A minus C. B by C. Huh? Hmm? Here. How did you get her? Huh? <laughs> Answer, huh? No, A minus B equal to minus D, right? A minus C equal to minus 2D, right? 1 by 2. Where is the difficulty? Huh? But you didn't say anything. No. Huh? A minus B equal to minus D. Huh? A minus B equal to? No. <laughs> Question is different now. How will it be their answer? A minus B will be minus D, right? A minus B is what? A minus C will be minus 2D, right? So 1 by 2 only. Okay. So what about 10th one? Find uh, 51 is a term of a given AP or not? Huh? Ah. I tell no. So is, is there or not? Is there an AP or not? Huh? No? 
क्लियर श्योर फिफ्टी वन इज इन एपी आर दट नॉट द टर्म ऑफ द एपी द सीक्वेंस वाई Uh, that is coming a fraction, right? Okay. So what about the eleventh one? Find the next five terms of sequence given by a one equal to minus one, a n equal to a n minus one by n, n greater than equal to. So a two equal to a one by two. Right. We substitute there. What what will come? A two equal to a n equal to a n minus one by n. Right. Angle. We substitute a n equal to two. Then a a two equal to a one by two. Right. A three equal to a two by three. A four equal to A three by four, A five equal to A four by five. Rohit, did you get it or did you understand it? No. What what is A n given? A n equal to so A one is given, right? So A two will be if you substitute N equal to two, A two equal to A one by two, right? A three will be A three. Sorry, A three will be A two by three. A n minus one by n, right? Got it? <laughs> getting or not getting? Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> So now tell me the next five terms. Prince, tell me the next five terms. Prince, you also. Solve the question. A one equal to minus one. A n equal to a n minus one by n, right? For n greater than or equal to two. Okay. So here, if we substitute n equal to two, it will be a one by two. So a three will be a two by three. A four will be a three by four. A four will be a four by five. A four a five will be a five by six. So a one is given as minus one. Okay, so it will be minus one by two. A three will be that is one by six. It will be minus one by twenty four. Minus one by one twenty. Minus one by seven twenty. Is it clear? Not so difficult, na? Are they NAP or not? That uh, we we got a uh, six six terms, no? Totally now. So is it AP or not? That sequence.
maybe what is a to minus a1 this one I think this is uh, one is uh, minus one by two plus one, right? Which is equal to one by two. A three minus A two equal to minus one by six plus one by two will be one by two. So this is not in. So this is a sequence, but not a AP. Okay. So yeah, next one is which term of AP is fifty-three by four. So we need to take a equal to eleven by four, d equal to. We'll get. We need to find out a plus n minus one equal to fifty-three by four. We need to find out n value. What's the annual value, Kaushik? You got it? 15, huh? So what's the D value here? 3 by 4? So 11 by 4 plus N minus 1 into 3 by 4, huh? Equal to 53 by 4. So... 11 plus 3n minus 3 equal to 53. 3n equal to 42. n equal to 14. Okay. n equal to. What about the 13th one? Find the common difference and uh, write the next four terms of AP. What's the common difference here? D value. This is a, n is equal to 15, yeah, 15. 3 n equal to 45, n equal to 15. So, yeah, so what's the common difference and uh, find the next four terms? 1 by 6. Good. What are the next uh, four terms? Minus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 6. So it's like minus 1, minus 5 by 6, minus 4 by 6. Okay, like that. Minus uh, 4 by 6. Next, minus 3 by 6. Means minus 1 by 2. Next minus. Uh, minus 2 by 6. Minus 1 by 6. 0. Bring it. What are the next four terms? Minus 1. Minus 5 by 6. Minus 4 by 6, minus 3 by 6, minus 2 by 6, minus 1 by 6, 0. These are the next four terms. And minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 3, minus 1 by 6, 0.
got the same venkat what's the fourth term next term and it's 1 by it's 1 by 2 right Kaushik, solid. Rohit, did you find out the next four terms? Tell me the four next four terms. Ah, uh, five by six R. Ah. Uh. Uh, minus 3 by 6, minus 2 by 6, minus 1 by 6, 0. Right? Huh? Already minus uh, 4 by 6 is there, na? So till 0, right? Okay. So this one, find the value of a, B, C such that uh, these numbers are in A, B. How to do this one, Kaushik? First, we need to find the D value, B. Okay. What is D value here? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So we have many ways to you can do it, but uh, so here two D is nothing but twenty three minus seven, right? So two D equal to sixteen. D equal to eight. If D equal to eight, A equal to minus one. Then B will be fifteen. Then C will be 30, 31. Okay. Got it? How 2D equal to 23 minus 7? Vijay? 2D equal to 23 minus 7. How? Three D, so you need to difference it. Then it will come two D, right? So then you get a D value. Then you know that A plus D equal to seven. Then A will be. You can find out from there. Then B, C also you can find. Okay, thank you. So what about the next one? The ratio of the eleventh term to the eighteenth term of A P is two is to three. Find the ratio of fifth term to the twenty first term. And also the ratio of sum of the first five terms to the sum of the first 20 first terms. How to do it? Eleventh term to eighteenth term means what? A plus 10D by A plus 17D equal to 2 by 3, right? Is it? So then what we need to find out? 5th term to 21st. So A plus 4D by A plus
Yeah, you're right. Got it? <laughs> How much is coming? Uh, you got A equal to 40, yeah? Is it? So that means uh, 8D by 24D, 1 by 3. So the next one, what we need to find out? Sum of the first five terms to sum of the first 20 first terms. N by 2, A plus phi D by huh? 2A plus 2A plus 4D. Yeah? by n by 2 into 2a plus 20d, right? n by 2, n by 2 will cancel out. Yeah, so n by 2, n, we can cancel out n, okay? That's why I just kept it, okay? So 2a plus 4d by 2a plus 20d. So a will be 4d, 12D by 28D. 12 by 28. 3 by 7. Oh, sorry. You are right. You, you are right. You are right. You are Finally, what's the value we are getting? 5 by 2, 2a plus 4d. So just you need to multiply that one, that 20 by 2, right? 21 by 2. So 2a plus 20d. Equal to 5 by 21 into 7 by 3. 7 by 3 or 3 by 7. Previously, what we got? 3 by 7, right? So, 7. 5 by 49. Huh? Check it. Right only. Bye bye. Okay, Venkat. Next question. If the ratio of the sums of First n terms of two AP is seven n plus one is two four n plus twenty seven. Find the ratio of their nth terms. So what you got finally? Do it and tell me what you got.
is it that n will be replaced with m? It's like a seven m plus one by four m plus twenty seven. Is it that or is it n is replaced with just m? Any idea how to do it? Vinci? Are you done? Pause it. what they are given here two sequences are there okay so sn equal to let's take for one sequence first term is a second second term is d next sequence take first term is capital a second term is uh, difference is common difference is capital d so then what's the ratio means n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d for the first sequence second sequence same n by 2 now A equal to capital A, D equal to capital D. Equal to what? 7N plus 1 equal to 4N plus 27. So N by 2, N by 2 can cancel out. 2A plus N minus 1 into D by 2A plus N minus 1 into capital D equal to 7n plus 1 by 4n plus 27. So now, what we need to find out? Oh, we need to find out uh, the ratio of fifth term to ratio of nth term to they ratio that they are nth terms, yeah, not some of the nth terms. That's a, okay, that's a miss. So, what we need to find out is uh, a plus m minus 1 into d by a plus capital m minus 1 into capital d or m minus 1. This we need to find out, right? So, We 
You're getting sleep, huh? Sleep was under doctor. <laughs> Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's in the middle, no? Just over. Right? So, take a two common. So, what will happen? A plus N minus 1 by 2 into D by A plus N minus 1 into D equal to 7N plus 1 by 4N plus 27. So, now putting n minus 1 by 2 equal to m minus 1. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Both are so, n minus 1 by 2 equal to m minus 1, then what will happen? a plus m minus 1 into d by a plus capital M minus 1 into, sorry, m minus 1 into capital D equal to so, if n minus 1 by 2 equal to m minus 1, then n will be 2m minus 1. So, 7 into 2m minus 1 plus 1 by 4 into 2m minus 1 plus 27. Finally, 14m minus 6 by 8m plus 23. Okay. Close it for today or close it, yeah? Huh? Sorry? Yeah, that, that's the ratio. That's, we can't uh, cancel it further. Yeah? So, we'll solve the next uh, questions in the next class, huh? Tomorrow, huh?